So there's been a number of questions regarding the direct CAD translators and direct CAD interfaces that are available in PCDemus and the added capability they give the PCDemus programmer. So let's begin by looking at how these functions work. If we're posting in an iGES file, we're simply going to select File, Import, and we can select iGES from the Import menu. Now there are other CAD model types that you may not have used. For instance, CATIA, Parasolid, ProEngineer, SolidWorks, Unigraphics, Let's look at the CATIA interface first. And you'll notice that we have three CATIA interfaces now, CATIA 4, CATIA 5, and the latest version, CATIA 6. If we select CATIA 5, PCDemus is going to allow us to read the native CATIA format. PCDemus will then translate that data into CAD objects that it can understand and in addition, PCDemus is going to read extra information that is attached to that CATIA model. For instance, we could read in the assembly, we could read in extra alignment information, and we can also read in embedded GD&T information in the form of captures. So we can see this CATIA model that's read in. It's a bracket of some type. But the benefit of using the CATIA model directly is this extra information. On my toolbar, I have an icon that's labeled Coordinate System. And this gives me access to the built-in coordinate systems that are attached to this CATIA model. Let's select the icon and we can see a dialog that appears. And before I begin my programming, what I can do is I can select one of the built-in alignments. And as I select each of these different alignments, PCDemus moves the trihedron around to show me the direction of my coordinate system axes and the position of the zero. If I wish to begin programming using the alignment view A axis system, I can select that alignment, hit apply, and we can now see that the trihedron has been migrated to the lower left-hand corner of my part. The other thing that I have access to is built-in views that come along with this CAD model. If I select the View Setup icon on the left-hand side of my Graphics Modes toolbar, you'll find these views by selecting the pull-down in the dialog and then scrolling down to the appropriate saved view. I'm going to select View A and select Apply. PCDemus now displays the model using that saved View A. And this is just some of the information that can be attached to this model. Let's bring in another model that has GD&T information embedded. Now the other method for getting our CATIA model into PCDemus is using something called the Direct CAD Interface. And we're going to find that right under the Import option under File. You'll notice that there are Direct CAD interfaces for a number of products. CATIA, CATIA 5, Ideas, Pro Engineer, SolidWorks, and Unigraphics. And the way these interfaces work is they run the particular CAD software in the background. And it's the CAD software that's providing the CAD objects directly to PCDemus. So this means that there's no translation involved and no possible source of error resulting from that translation. So let's select the direct CAD interface for CATIA 5 and we'll select one of our models.